Neonatal abstinence syndrome is when a baby becomes dependent on a drug that mom had taken during pregnancy, such as heroin, codeine, oxycodone, subutex, and methadone. Due to a sudden lack of the drug after delivery, baby may experience withdrawal symptoms. These infants are in a state of hyper-irritability that is heightened by the overstimulation in their environment. A few common things you may see in your baby include, but are not limited to, extreme fussiness and or extended periods of crying, minimal sleep, tremors, increased muscle tone, fevers and sweating, frequent yawning and or sneezing, nasal stuffiness, excessive sucking, poor feeding, and loose watery stools. So how do you console and comfort your baby? Every infant responds differently to different soothing techniques. These include snuggling, rocking, gentle awakening, a quieter environment with minimal stimulation, utilizing a pacifier, slow and rhythmic movements, low lighting, and soft voices. General containment techniques are crucial in keeping your baby calm. Things such as swaddling or providing firm but gentle pressure to the infant's trunk or top of his or her head. Utilize your support system for an extra hands or even an extra snuggle. You also want to avoid waking your child and let them awaken themselves and ensure you're feeding your baby on demand. When they are sleeping, place them in their crib in a quiet, dark room, encourage self-calming efforts and pacify your utilization, and ensure you are practicing safe sleep. Place your receiving blanket on a flat surface. Fold down the top corner to create a triangle. Place the infant's shoulder just below the crease. Bring infant's right arm midline and wrap the blanket across and behind the infant's back. Take up the bottom corner and fold upwards. Bring the infant's left arm midline and wrap the blanket across and behind the infant's back. Cradle swaddled infant with a firm hold against your body. While swaying side to side, pat the infant's bottom using a consistent motion. When using the seat hold, you want your swaddled infant to be placed firmly against your belly to create a seat while still offering support to their head and bottom. Swaddle and hold your infant upright. Using a gentle, slow motion, raise and lower your infant. Combining two or more of these soothing interventions may be more effective for your infant. However, be sure that you are not overstimulating them. If your baby is unable to decrease crying within 15 seconds utilizing self-consoling measures, please place your baby in a safe place such as his or her crib and walk away for a period no longer than 10 minutes. Please do not shake your baby. Please ensure you are utilizing safe sleep practices. Baby should be alone, on his or her back, no fuzzy blankets, no stuffed animals, and nothing on or near his or her face. Your infant is at an increased risk for sudden infant death syndrome and apnea, not breathing. Please call 911 if your infant is not breathing, his or her skin or nails turn blue or gray, or your infant is limp and or not responding. For any non-emergent questions and or concerns, please contact your baby's pediatrician's office. <laughs>